Today, I'm going to show you how to use the latest creative tool inside of Eleven Labs called VoiceOver Studio. This new tool allows you to combine video, AI voiceovers, sound effects inside of Eleven Labs, and even upload any audio that you have. Let's go. First thing I want to share is that in order to use VoiceOver Studio, you need to have a description of creators or above, which means to use this option inside of Eleven Labs is not free. Let's continue. So we're going to go to VoiceOver Studio. As soon as we're there, you're going to see you have this little play icon, which you can add any video that you want. In this case, for this video, I went to Pexels and I selected any of these videos to use it and to show you how to use VoiceOver Studio set by set. So we're going to go back here and we're going to upload the video right over here. You're going to see that you have the video displayed right here and you have the timeline below. The first option you have is to add the first speaker. And in order to generate this speaker, you need to add the text that you want. In this case, I already added it and it's right over here. So in order to adjust it to make the best out of it, you're going to click on this little star right here. And you're going to see you have several AI voiceovers that are inside of Eleven Labs with your creator's description, if that's the one that you have right now, as I did. So after that, you have the model, which you can select the one that is of default inside of Eleven Labs, or you can choose any of these other options that you prefer. It comes with testing and seeing which one works best for your video. In this case, this option is good for me. So after that's done, now that you like, you're going to click on generate audio because you already adjusted the voice you want to use for this video that you selected. I click right over here. As you can see, you wait a few seconds and immediately you're going to see it below here in this timeline. So let's play it so you can see how it goes. Take a moment to breathe in and out and you'll feel you are there. So after that's done, let's say that you want to add more things to this project. Here you have three options. Add another voiceover track, add sound effects to this track, or upload your own audio. In this case, we're going to go first with add an SF track, which is a sound effect track. So as I mentioned, we're going to continue with a sound effect track. So we're going to click right here on this plus sign, okay? And immediately you have the track below the first speaker. So you're going to click, you're going to go with this green icon, you're going to click right here, and immediately you're going to have a new window that says SFX track. So you're going to describe the type of sound effects that you want. You're going to add sound of the ocean. Okay. So you're going to click on generate audio. You're going to see it below the first speaker right over here. So you're going to adjust it and then you're going to click on it and you're going to go to volume. As you can see, it's very high. So you're going to lower it. Okay. So the project can be quite well and adjusted and doesn't interrupt the first speaker. So we're going to click play. Take a moment to breathe in and out and you'll feel you are there. Perfect. So now we're going we have the option of adding a new voiceover track. We're going to click right over here. And as you're going to go again with this little green icon and click where you want it. We're going to put it right over here. So again, you have to describe what type of speech you want this new speaker to say. I'm going to put enjoy the moment by the sea. Okay, so after that's done, you're gonna go to this little star and you're gonna decide which other or which new voice over you want. So I'm going to include Alice, okay? So as before, you can go to model, choose which model you want. I'm gonna go with recommended, okay? Then I'm going to, you can adjust this however you want to. I'm just going to adjust the style a little bit so it sounds more realistic, okay? So that's it. Now that we have, we're going to click on generate audio because we already adjusted the second speaker. Click right over here and let's play it all together. Take a moment to breathe in and out and you'll feel you are there. Enjoy the moment by the sea. So you can see now we have three tracks. Let's add a new sound effect. We're going to go again here, click right there, and we're going to put the green icon right here in the beginning. So it's all over the project. So we're going to extend it. Okay. Until here. Also this one too. And we're going to describe what type of sound effect we want in this case, let's say birds in the morning. So we're going to describe, we're going to click on generate audio. As you can see, now we have four different icons, which is the first speaker, the second one, and two sound effects right here in this timeline. So let's go again back. So I want you to hear all together. Take a moment to breathe in and out and you'll feel you are there. Enjoy the moment by the sea. Okay, so as you can see, everything is working together and you are creating your own AI project inside of Eleven Labs 
with this incredible option. So if you included all that we wanted into this project, all that you want to do is click on export and that's it. All that you're doing is creating an incredible project inside of 11 Labs with VoiceOver Studio, which allows you to integrate the power of AI to your project. This is incredible. It's one of the latest tools that you can start using 11 Labs. Remember, you can use it with your creative subscription or above. All the best.